when you receive the lifetime replacement string kit for your 40th anniversary of EP Junior, this is what you get. You get a string and a right angle pick to help you replace the string easier. So the first thing we're gonna do is remove this front plate. Flip the pedal to its side and undo these two screws. And now we can just slide this out of the way. So we're gonna take the right angle pick, go in there and release the spring from the string. Now we can unwind the string from the pot. We're gonna to go to the back of the pedal and with our right angle pick, we're gonna fish out the spring. Now we can take the string out from the pulley. Now when we look at the string, it is different from the VP Juniors. It is routed through the top portion of the pedal and we have grip tape here that we can't access the string. So we're gonna to have to peel back this grip tape in the front and in the back here. All right, and there is the top portion of the string. Pull it through. And underneath the pedal, we're just gonna grab this little washer with the string and pull it right through. So we're gonna take the longer end of the string and what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this little white washer from the original string and we're gonna insert it with the larger cap facing the crimp here. So just like this. All right, and now we're ready to insert it back into the pedal. When we go to the pedal to insert the string, we're gonna go through the second hole and the washer should stop the string. Then we're gonna come up and feed it back into the first hole. So when we feed it through the first hole, make sure the string is not twisted and that it's side by side with each other. Okay, once we tension it up, we check the tension by looking underneath the pedal and we are ready to put the grip tape back on. And now we go to the back of the pedal and we do the same thing. We're gonna peel the grip tape and reinsert our string here. So once we pulled this back, we're gonna do the same thing as the front. We're going to put the string up and I'm gonna grab this washer here and it'll come just right out. So we're gonna take the shorter string and we're gonna insert the washer from the original string so it's like this. This time we're going from the inside to the outer hole. Go like this, put it through. We can even hold it with our thumb here and put it down. And we're gonna make sure it lays nicely in there Double check underneath and we're ready to put the grip tape back on the pedal. All right, so we're gonna take the string and we're gonna feed it through the pulley. And once it's through the pulley, so we're gonna take the spring. When we look at it with the spring that has a closer hook, we're gonna hook that onto the string here. All right, so we're gonna hook it in. Once the spring is in there, just gonna lay it down. All right, the spring is hooked up. I'm gonna straighten out this crossing here. Make sure the string is not being twisted. Okay. So once we got the spring dangling there, what we're gonna do is feed it in with our finger and make sure that the string doesn't lose its spot on the pulley. And now we're gonna go to the front. And we see the spring back there. What we're gonna do is take our tool and we're gonna fish it out. We're gonna make sure that it, it's laid out straight forward. Just like that. 
So before we start winding the front string, make sure the paw is rotated counterclockwise. All right, we're gonna take the string and lay it in. We're gonna start from the left side and go to the right. So we're gonna use a combination of both our hands and the tool. I'm gonna grab the tool to put it through to the back. Every time we pull it through, we're gonna organize the way it's laying with this right angle pick, trying to not scratch or poke the string. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna lay the string down. We're gonna use the pick to pull it through underneath the pot. All right, and this is the last turn. So before we make this turn, we're gonna organize the string one more time so it's laying nicely against each other. All right, and we take the pick and we're gonna not lose tension and put it all the way through and we're gonna rotate the pot all the way to the left again because it turned a little bit while we were installing the string and we're just gonna put our finger over this so it hovers. Then we're gonna fish out our spring. So we're gonna pull the spring until it catches the hook. All right. And then we can organize the coil again. When we pull on the spring, it loosens the string here and we can reorganize the, the way it's coiled up. That way it's sitting nice and tight. And now we can Rock the pedal back and forth. It's now out of alignment, but we'll get it into alignment in a second. So the final adjustment of how the pot sits, we want it to mute completely when we go all the way down. So we're gonna go forward a tiny bit, and then what we're gonna do is grab the spring. We're gonna pull it towards the pot, and at the same time, we're gonna loosen the, the pot here, and we're gonna just go all the way counterclockwise. So that way we're setting it up to where the pedal doesn't reach all the way down. This is where we want to be to calibrate it perfectly. So you see how it's not touching the bottom just yet. And then this is the last calibration here. So we're gonna pull towards the pot just a little bit and with our left hand, we're gonna push up. And we can do that in small increments to where we calibrate it so it's, so it's touching the rubber stopper here. It's not quite touching it. So we'll do it one more time, just a nudge. So pull in towards the pot and push up on the top part. So there we go. Now it's touching it and the volume should be cutting out when we go all the way down. And then we're just going to reassemble the front part of the volume pedal, put the two screws back in, and we are good to go. Thanks for watching, guys.